breaking welcome to today's news here is the headlines Biafra's declaration at stake as Simon Ekbar exposes how Nigerian's top African Union representative trashed Biafra government case. Biafra's declaration at stake as Simon Ekbar exposes how Nigerian's top African Union representative trashed Biafra government case. So my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news and please do ensure you like, subscribe and share. Now the details. Simon Ekpao the self-proclaimed Prime Minister of Biafra has made explosive allegations against Nigerian's top African Union representative, Abiola Idowu Ojo, claiming she trashed the Biafra's government case at the African court. Ekpa took to his verified social media landu to reveal that the Biafra government filing was rejected due to failure to comply with Rule 1152D of the 2020 Rules of Procedure. However, Ekpa contest this decision, stating that the rules require fulfillment of Rule 115 for instead. He alleges that Idowu Ojo, who serves as secretary to the commission, has violated the rules of procedure which she herself amended according to the Center for Human Rights at the University of Pretoria. This development has significant implications for the Biafra movement, which has been seeking independence from Nigeria since 1967. Ekpa's allegations of corruption and impunity at the African Union level are likely to escalate tensions in the region. The Biafra government has demanded an explanation for the irregularities in the procedure and has decided to make the issue public to raise awareness about the alleged corruption. Ekpal emphasized that the Biafra government wants to exhaust all available remedies as it approaches the December declaration, which is expected to be a significant milestone in the Biafra movement. It is worth noting that Ekpa a Finnish-based politician and Biafran activist has been at the forefront of the Biafran independence movement. He declared the activation of the Biafran government in exile in 2022 and has since been vocal about his demands for Biafran's independence. The African court's decision and ECPA's allegations have sparked concerns about the legitimacy of the process and the potential consequences for the Biafra movement. 
as tensions rise. The international community is watching closely to see how the situation unfolds. Simon Ekpa, the self-proclaimed Prime Minister of Biafra, has made explosive allegations against Nigerian's top African Union representative, Abiola Idowu Ojo, claiming she trashed the Biafran government case at the African court. Ekpa took to his verified social media landu to reveal that the Biafra government filing was rejected due to failure to comply with Rule 1152D of the 2020 Rules of Procedure. However, Ekpa contests this decision stating that the rules require fulfillment of Rule 1154 instead. He alleges that Ido Wojo, who serves as secretary to the commission, has violated the rules of procedure which she herself amended, according to the Center for Human Rights at the University of Pretoria. This development has significant implications of, for the Biafra movement, which has been seeking independence from Nigeria since 1967. Ekpa's allegation of corruption and impunity at the African Union level are likely to escalate tensions in the region. Now,